Hey guys, just wanted to give you all a little update. Um, sorry, the normal Friday focus is uh, a day late this time. Um, but I wanted to give you uh, a little bit of an update and to talk to you a little bit about um, the essay that's going to be due next. Um, it's kind of wrapping up of I Am Legend. So the idea of this is when you take a novel and you make it into a movie, obviously, you know, if you were to sit down and read most novels, it, it would take you you know, six, seven hours to read this book, well, they have to cut all that information down into an hour and a half to two hours, you know. Um, one of the things that they've changed uh, as far as modern audiences that y'all are a little bit used to is things like The Hunger Game. You know, three books became four movies because the, the last of the books, they decided to go ahead and split. Harry Potter, same idea. You have seven books become uh, eight movies. Um, and then even, you know, with something like The Hobbit, where they make it into a trilogy, they made it into three movies, even that cuts some of the things out of the original book. Um, so that's what you're going to be looking at for this essay. I want you all to go ahead, um, based on the, the original book, I Am Legend, how did they change the book in order to make the three movies? Uh, well, two of the three movies in your case. So The Last Man on Earth, Omega Man, and I Am Legend. Uh, the other thing that uh, directors and screenwriters will do is they have to make it uh, more relevant to a modern audience. So that's the other thing you're going to look at as far as what possibly did they cut out, but then also what did they change? Uh, in order to make it uh, more relevant to that modern audience. So like The Last Man on Earth, they looked at it and, you know, you had the Cold War going on. So, of course, war um, and all of that is the big thing on people's mind, you know, uh, the bomb and everything. Uh, Omega Man, you know, late 60s, early 70s, you had a little, you still had that, that fear of war. Uh, but then you also had, this was the time of, you know, the cults like the, the Manson family kind of idea. So they, the, of course, the director played on that, making the, the vampires into much more of like a cult as opposed to, you know, vampires. <laughs> and then I Am Legend, you know, modern audience, you know, war has always been a fear. Uh, but in this case, it's much more of a pandemic, um, much more biological warfare, um, and, you know, messing with nature kind of idea. Um, so what I want y'all to do is you're going to pick just one change that they made in the movies. Um, you're going to, you obviously can't interview the directors. Why did you make this change? You're going to come up with your own possible reason. Why do you think they made that change? Um, and then how, what was the impact of the change to the original story? So did it impact the character itself? Did it did it allow you to get to know the character, maybe relate with the character better? Um, did it change the plot? Um, and then also the outcome, uh, the end of, of the story. How did it change the end of the story? Uh, those are all possible ways that it could change the original. Um, and then just for fun, um, you're going to tell me which one was your favorite version um, and explain why. You know, why was it your favorite? Um, so, you know, I mean, it's the biggest things with this, as far as your essay, you know, just as always, I've given you an original, uh, an audience. So, um, that it's college educated, that they, you're going to compare and contrast your audience is familiar with the works. So that's part of it when you're dealing with the, the minimum maximum, as far as the essay, um, remember other than to explain your point, you don't need summary. All right. Um, you're going to offer a thesis statement. Um, it needs to be your ideas, be grammatically correct, all that sort of stuff. Um, you will include a works cited page at the end in MLA format. Remember, uh, night site is a good place to find that. Um, so you'll include the book version that you read. You know, if you read the PDF, if you had a, a paper copy at home, um, or even the audio book. You need to include that in your in your uh, work cited, but then you need to include the citation for both the movies you watched. Um, all of that can be find, found on Night Sight uh, as far as how to properly document a movie, uh, PDF, and a book. 
Um, so the basic format of the, of the essay is, you know, you know me, I, I don't like five paragraph essay, but it just sort of fits this time. So you're going to have your introduction. All right. The first body paragraph will, you'll conquer the first movie. What was the change into it? Why outcome, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, then the second body paragraph will be the second movie. Third body paragraph will be your favorite of the three versions that you were, uh, read and watched. And then finally your conclusion. Um, now the good news as far as all this, I forgot that the 10th Friday is good Friday. Um, so you would not actually be in school on Friday. Um, so I don't want this to be due on that. Um, my mistake, so I don't want to punish y'all by moving it back and making it do Thursday. So instead, you, you get to benefit from my mistake. Um, the essay actually won't be due until Monday the, thir the 13th. Um, so if there's any questions or anything, make sure to um, shoot me an email or put a message on Google Classroom. Um, if there's anything else, um, good luck and I hope you have a, a great weekend and a great week.